What up everyone? Uh, this is El Mariachi here and basically I'm gonna show you or do a beginner's guide on some gel blasters. So I'm just gonna show you some rough ideas that I have with some of the gel blasters. So which one's best for when you're starting out. So I'll go through an SMG which is as you can tell a Chris Vector right there. You got an AK you got my car 98 which that one's shell ejecting the m24 is under there i've got two slrs my aug the mags my skd glock um which i've had to modify to make it look like a pdw um i've also modifying another blaster which is one of the slrs to change the look of it um yes i'm doing this on my bed and there's my little Pain in the ass right there, the pain in the ass cat. The other pain in the ass is down there. Um, so I'm doing them this on the bed because it's more comfy and easier. Um, so AUG. Not many people like the AUG. Some people think it's ugly. Um, I'm in the reserves or was in the reserves. So this came natural to me because I'm used to the movements. I'm so used to using this. Um, Plus, I like bull pups, and the reason why is one your actual gun. So, if you picture an M4, if I can get it. Oh, here's one of the SLRs. <coughs> Basically, your whole assembly, so your upper and lower receiver, or your assem uh, receiver assembly, is right there. The rest of the bolt goes. Oh. If it was a real gun, it would go through the gun. But the actual motor's here, mag takes here. So you got a longer barrel. In that, it'll make it <coughs> lower FPS. So I've already changed the cylinder, I've changed the spring in this. So this has a, a modifications. So guns without modifications, I'll go through all. Um, so first, I'll start with the SMG. And the best SMG I found has been the Chris Vector without modifications. Um, that's because one, it's already got a similar um, gearbox to a Gen 8. And from what I've been seeing in that, <coughs> the Gen 8 has been the most efficient and the most reliable. This has been upgraded by Lo Guido. I have not got his stamp of approval, but if I do open it up, um, you can tell he's worked on it. I have never worked on this, except the paint job. Um, the paint job, I just got paint pens. So, one little fault with the Vector. You come with a little mag. That's one fault I had with it. But, you can buy a drum mag for this. So, that one, compared to the... Um, ARP9, um, it's the same problem. So they both have small mags. All SMGs do. They're really fast if you put an 11 volt battery in it. Would not suggest always shooting on full auto though. Um, next, we'll go to the AK. So out of the AKs that I've tested, oh shit, hit the roof. Um, out of the AKs I've tested, this is my Alpha King. Um, Alpha King has made a quality, quality blaster that I de decided to fuck up by doing that. That, um, because I had mounted a rail. This does not come with a mounting rail or a key rail or whatever you want to fucking call it. It does not come with a rail, um, unfortunately. But if, I don't know if the battery's in it, hope not. No, but basically you get smooth movements. Um, when you first get it, this is really tight. That's good. That's your safety. Um, that will be semi. That'll be full order. One thing I would suggest though is with your batteries, because they're mini Tamiya's, um, I'm not going to open it up for now. I would get more mini Tamiya's, unlike other blasters like the M4, the AUG, the Chris Vector. They got um, inlets. I call them inlets because you, they're just in line. You plug them in straight away. 
um, they have batteries like that. That battery is permanently there because my Glock battery um, died. I'll explain that a bit later in a minute or so. Um, next is my M4s. I'm gonna explain the M4 a bit more as well. Um, so I got two SLRs because I have different playing styles. So I got CQB and my <coughs> um, long range. So originally this was my long range SLR. I upgraded it so it's got a stronger spring, it's faster. Um, I've changed stuff in it. With these SLRs, they are easy to modify. Um, I don't always suggest modifying, um, but if you do go to Low Guido's Low Guido Chop Shop um, YouTube channel, he explains enough so you get an in detail perception of how the gearbox works how it should be working and basically if what to look for um with the slrs they run like a oh you can't really see it but let's see if i can get the light um they run like a gen 9 so that t-piece there i don't know see that little half moon thing there that will be the t-piece that's not actually attached to the gearbox. That's separate, so that barrel's a different assembly. Um, so this is, will be my close quarters. Um, as per usual, you pull that charging handle. The charging handle does work. This one's full auto, that one isn't. That's why mine, that's why I switched the bodies around as well. Um, this one, I've changed the cylinder because it was a 70% cylinder from when I got it. That was a bit weird when I found that, um, but that's what I've changed. I got hop-ups printing right now because I have a three D printer, as you can tell by that bit. That's not does not come with the gun. Um, you get normally an S SLR um, flash hider. Does not do anything and annoys the shit out of me as well because it's not. My OCD kicks in a bit. Um, they have their own specific mag, and if I can find it. I can show you guys, they don't work well with the tracer mags. So if you get a tracer mag and you chuck it in, it does not work well. Um, I've tried it multiple times. I've tried it at my friend's um, place because we have private games there. Um, yes, this is in Queensland, so if anyone asks, don't bother. Just trying to find the bloody mag now. Probably similar to me. Um... I can't even find it, um, <laughs> but basically they got their own mags. So you got your tracer mags and all that. I'll go through them all. In two seconds, which I am finding very weird now that I cannot find that mag. It's actually annoying. Um, oh, there it is. Um, so this is one of them. Um, so these are called the high speed mags. Um, they're specially made for these SLR blasters. Um, you can buy some that will go in the Gen 8s, Gen 9s. Basically the same fucking, same mag. Just, these blasters are a bit picky with the mag, so I found that these work the absolute best. Um, so this one has single fire and full auto, so semi, full auto, and that's tight. Mixed in with this one, you get a mock charging handle. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you can see the cylinder in that. Um, so that one's a little bit playing around and I'll show you when I'm done with that one. But this one favoritizes those mags. It does not like the general Gen 8 mags, which are these ones. This is from my first Gen 8. Um, so, have M4s, SLA is the way to go that I've found. Have less stuff ups, you got semi M4 auto, that's basically what you really need. And they go up to 260 to almost 300 straight out of the box, which I've found very, very well. Um, AK, the AK, same around. Uh, okay, let's jump to a Gen 8. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen this. If you're new, obviously you haven't, and you're trying to figure out what gun to get, or blaster, sorry. 
This is a Gen 8 SCAR. This only has full auto. It may say semi, don't believe it. They come in just full auto. Um, I've got a night vision thing because I've set this up as my night vision game blaster. Um, charging handle works. Um, on the M4s, don't work. You're going to have to do it yourself. So, oh, Jesus. So, with the scars, get your own Gen 8 mag. Um, it's a AK mag. Put that over there. Um, so, Gen 8 mag. It can take the War Interest Tracer mags. Um, these are actually really good. And I found it better than the actual Tracer unit, which I do not want to talk about because I broke it. Um, they cost about a hundred bucks where these only cost from the last one I found it was about 30 bucks Which is actually a lot cheaper than the fucking hundred dollars just for a bloody cylinder with a purple laser in it basically um, With a sensor as well, which you can literally just make yourself um, And cheaper So as I said, this is my night vision or night um, game blaster um i will be that's a camera as well obviously so i will be filming on that as well but these do shoot that same purple laser throughout the whole mag and in there and it looks really cool i'll try and get that on film one night not tonight because it's a school <laughs> a school day and i don't want to wake up the neighbors and piss them off this isn't late but don't want to annoy them um so that's that gun um if you're interested in the scar it's a good blaster don't always recommend it but it is a good blaster it is trustworthy so all the blasters that i've got i'm going to show you the trustworthy ones not the crap ones which are put away and never fucking going to get used they're getting resold um and to, it's to people to upgrade and that and modify um if you're a modder that's your baby basically that's easy to modify same as the slrs are easy to modify aug not as easy just gotta move that bolt forward um so next we got the gm uh or gj m24 um this has an upgraded spring i've already put a video on how to upgrade the spring um but generally they're piss weak this one sounds like a spring gun but it is a bit hard to pull back don't forget this has like a suction cup design or a plunger plunger design or um a circular um, piston design so this one has a plunger design not a piston design so piston design piston design piston design all the general ones have a piston design if you get an upgraded bolt which you can buy but they're around 200 dollars they turn to a piston design which i would actually recommend um they sound also better with that and a 1.3 spring this has a 1.2 can go up to 1.3 i've killed a k98 version of this um but generally that's your um springer sniper rifle type one then you got the shell ejecting k98 um i'm actually going to show you a bit more about this one turn the phone around so as you can tell you can see the bolt right there no sorry no can't seem to get it oh you can see that bit of metal that's your piston design so this has been already upgraded i bought this one off ebay so yes you can buy blasters off ebay but i would suggest being very very careful when you do um so this guy that i bought off he is trustworthy so I bought off him before I can trust him. Um I'm into my block in a minute. So these fit shells, the plastic shells are shit. I will suggest going on eBay and buying metal shells. These are zinc coated steel ones, so they look like actual real bullets. Um but in saying that, this is for like collectors or um, what my friend does is World War II reenactments. So I've made a um, on machine gun, which did not come out perfectly how I wanted it, but 
it's usable and I've used an STD um, 1911 for that. This takes five rounds. Watch that first bullet as it jumps out sometimes. But, still adjusting. Um, I like this gun because um, one, it's a K98, two, it's a K98, three, it's a World War II but, um, blaster, so I like it. Um, and if someone argues with me, or oh, Aussies did not use K98, I'm sorry, but we stole guns, boots, uniforms, anything to help us in World War II. Um, we were thieves, technically. But we were doing it to survive, so either way, we're not thieves if we're trying to live. Um, that is not real wood, that is not real wood. That has a texture, don't like it. Wood paint that black or olive or like the Kanye 8, um, a sandy tan or khaki or fucking whatever the word is. Um, Basically, just like a fence. Um, that has, like, the wood plasticky finish. It's smooth as shit. I've got a mate that's got a K98 actual um, stock who's going to give me that eventually. Um, but on to the PDW. Okay. So, people are going around saying the DIG was most reliant out of the pistols or the new... Um, blowback block is most reliant. Um, I've tested all of them. I've tested the P1. The P1's the best out of gas. I'm not going to bring it up because it's not here with me. Um, P1 isn't mine either. Um, it's actually Loguido's. Um, I've borrowed his. I've also tested it. I've played with it a bit. Um, I've actually happily asked him. I'm not personal friends with him so don't ask me if I can get him to contact you I'm sorry but I can't you can always comment on his videos and he'll help you as much as he can um, so when you get in one of these glocks these are really good um, they're just slow slummish um, plus they have a tendency to kill their own battery if you leave them on at the switch which is down here now um, I've made this look like a PDW because I've upgraded the battery Still a slow shooter, but not as slow as before. Um, no, I haven't upgraded the chipboard because the chipboard can take up to freaking um, what did I test it to 24 volts? Um, that's with a mega meter. If someone wants to argue with me about that, good luck. I'm sorry, but you won't win. Um, I do air conditioning for work, I know how to test circuit boards, I know how to test boards i know how to test electrical we get taught that as part of my trade so this is my trade in a way of a smaller means so pistons shooting air i can calculate that volume in about five minutes um but with this it's a little piston it's only little works beautifully i haven't had a problem with this until the battery died i cannot be bothered buying the battery plus corona has ruined buying parts and that for me so, you can still buy blasters and mags and all that crap, but buying actual batteries and parts and shit, not going to happen for a while because China is doing the dummy spit right now, so we can't, we don't know what the hell is happening. <coughs> Except they've brought new gas guns out, and I hope to hopefully bring one and show you guys as well on my channel. Um, but this is my PDW. I will be painting this. Um, I don't know what color yet. Comment what you reckon to paint it. Um, that I'm actually going to add in a cover. So I'm going to actually put a cover on it. I'm going to 3D print it. Um, but that's the best one I've found for the electric guns. I'm just going to call it the first gen electric guns like that. Not hopper fed, mag fed. Um, that's the best one I've found working properly and working the best. You can upgrade them a bit as well. Um, now to my Python or 45, whatever you want to call it. Six rounder, 
pain in the ass. I only shoots up to 15 meters, which is all I need for it because normally you, I would pull this out on close quarters, just like I do with that. But yeah, same thing, shells. Um, you get a feeder for the shells, so that's a collector one as well. That one goes with my World War II kit. Um, I won't be showing you the own gun because I did a dodgy job actually. <laughs> As close as I could to get to the real on gun. Um, if you search it up, you'll be able to see it. So, different mags. I'm going to just show you now. Um, that's the same as the glow. Same as the Gen 8. Gen 8. I've got that many Gen 8s. It's not funny. I've got a few glows because I do play night games and that. Um, then I've got Styre. AK. Okay, three Styres. Okay, um, I'm missing one AK mag, and I think I know where it is, and the SLR mag is in the SLR, of course, and I've already talked you through it, but these are the mags that i got to deal with. <coughs> My suggestion, if you're going to buy a blaster, any blaster, the closest ones that I can point you to and the most used mags are the M4 mags. So the closest one I can point you to is this Glow one and the Gen 8 mag. They can be used in Gen 9 blasters. They're your best chance if you get a blaster. Um, but in saying that, off my preference, go the SLR, run smoother. You can use these mag on, mags on a Gen 8. So if you get an SLR, you can use those mags with a Gen 8, Gen 9, and a Gen 10. Um, Gen 10 is a ACR Jingming Gen 10. Don't get me confused. I'm talking about Jingming. They're our main blaster right now. I don't have the special metal gun from... Uh, what's it? Uh, from Tack Edge or... Special gun from Vash yet. I haven't even got that. Um, M... 10, 11, or oh, um, M110, haven't got it yet, I will be getting it eventually, just not right now, I'm waiting, got to pay rego, got to pay insurance, got to pay bills, as per usual, and because I lost my job and just got my jo uh, new job, it's going to take me a while, so if, I'm going to start up a, might start up a Patreon, so if you want to help me, by all means help me, I'm happy, um, if you ever see me on the field i'll help you as much as i can either to fix your blaster or just to print it i can print you out stuff as well guys i'm starting to print out hop-ups and i've gotten beautiful reviews from my hop-ups so i will be printing hop-ups yes they're plastic but they're petg they're tough um they're strong as abs but a bit stronger um a bit flexible if you need them um, to be um i've come to learn how to print with my printer so we're just gonna go with that um so that's your general vector mag your ak alpha king mags um they load from the top um so does this one so this one's a bit of a pain in the ass and it hurts me now but that's the only way you're gonna open it but uh, that's that one they're high speed apparently these are not this is your general gen 8 this is your tracer mags um f88 or aug f88 aug style um my friend sent me the file for that stuff so i don't have it anymore um it's already been put on an sd card and then deleted by accident so i don't have it anymore I did not pay him either, which I can't thank him enough. Cameron, if you do watch this, I'm sorry. Um, he does have an A2 kit for me, which it was $50 from him. Hopefully he still has that. Um, but yeah. So these are just the gel blasters that I am suggesting in getting. If, you's, uh, if you at all get into this hobby um, and enjoy it. Um, but if you're talking price point then i'm gonna show you the easiest easiest most simplest one 
cheapest one of all, and it's your scar, or your Jingming scar, or your Jingming Gen 8 M4. Um, they only come in for order, as I said before. <coughs> um, mags are easy to come by, cheap as well. Um, this was only 115 from when I got it. It was on special from Tack Edge. Um, I can't thank Tack Edge enough for some of the blasters. That helps me a lot. Um, no, they don't get me special discounts or anything. I just get them at the right time, which is generally around tax time, Christmas time, and all that. Um, and, yeah. Um, what else can I say? Scar, I'm going to suggest if you're going to get the M4, I do not suggest getting it. Scar has a charging handle that works. M4, you got to shoot it. And so by doing that, you got to hold the trigger. And then it'll start feeding and it's just a pain in the ass. Um, with these, you are low maintenance as well. Where I have... Uh, which ones are most high maintenance? The actual car 98 is the highest maintenance because it's got metal parts in it and i got to oil it <coughs> and grease it. Um, I do suggest if you do enter, get into, into modding, make sure you have grease it, um, silicon grease and all that ready for you to do on the motors just to lube them up make them a bit healthier if you don't mod that's fine you don't actually need to um it's most of the blasters come with enough grease in them for to last you a long time um i found my first gen 8 um jingming m4 was chock full of grease and it didn't run smoothly so if it's a shit ton of grease it's not always good for them either um but yeah this this bad bad boy has gotten me through a lot um so has the slr i'm gonna um so in context of what i am saying is i'm not saying get an slr i am just suggesting as the best m4 for a beginner out of the box and the way it looks just now so you would get stock you wouldn't get this pistol grip you'll get the pistol grip like that one which is like a normal gen 8 uh sorry gen 9 um pistol grip uh you get your mag and you'll get your i think that one's a six inch um out of barrel uh out of barrel handguard as well where this one's a full 12 inch handguard and out of barrel um, inner barrel is about 13 inches, so, <laughs> uh, no giggities right now, um, but yeah, uh, so guys, if you have anything to ask or anything to suggest, go ahead, um, I'm happy to answer, um, I do go around Queensland and play, no one actually recognises me, which I'm actually happy a little bit in for, um, but I am always happy to help if need be, um, I'm about to go back down to Sydney because that's where I'm from, so, um, these stay at my mate's house, this isn't his house, this is my house, but I'm about to go back down to Sydney to start living my life again, <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer. Um, also, I have been streaming on Twitch, and so has one of my other friends. Um, so I'm just going to put them in the links below. Please follow us on Twitch. Um, I not, don't have the perfect um, track record with my foul language on Twitch, but i put it this way, if you get angry on a game, you're going to get angry on a game. It's fair enough. Um, but one of my friends, Ozzy, um, please follow him. He's really good. He plays Day Z or Day Z, whatever you want to call it. I call it Day Z because I'm Ozzy. Um, but, yeah. This, I'm sorry, but this is the closest thing to legal airsoft we got. 
and I know how grumpy people are going to get with that shit. But I'm sorry, but that's the closest thing. Until we get Airsoft, and even then, I know how much restrictions they're going to freaking chuck on it. Um, because the government are assholes, I'll put it that way. We fucking vote them in. We're allowed to vote them out, but no one knows their full rights because no one's actually studied it. The only way you're going to study it is by looking it up. Um, but the only way I can say is this. Be careful with your blasters. Treat them with respect. Treat people with respect. And I am saying this in the most sensible manner I can. Warning to one company in particular that I have seen play around with their blasters with no eye protection. It annoys the shit out of me. This does put out a little gel ball that can hurt your eye and damage your eye. Wear safety glasses when you play, please. Alright, and stop and think, please. Um, uh, They do look close to real, so treat them as real. Don't fucking go around trying to rob a place. I'm not suggesting that. If you do, you're a sad fucking bastard that needs a kick in the teeth. But... Treat them with respect. Go to a field, play with them. Go to a field, though. Otherwise, if you've got private property that's out of the way, no one's going to see you play around with them too much, or no one's going to see with you and play with them. Like, don't play with them out the front in the backyard. In the, yeah, yeah, in the backyard. Just be responsible, guys. Um, so this is me signing off now. Um, but... If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Bye!